everyone. This is Terry from terryscraftroom.com. Today we're going to make this stretch card. Isn't that adorable? It can hardly even fit on the camera. <laughs> and it folds right down into a regular card. We'll put it this way. There we go. And we're using the Snailed It bundle. And we're using quite a bit of this bundle. Um, we're using dies from it and some of the papers and it's just a, such a cute bundle. So let's get started. So what we'll need is we'll need, if I can get, we'll need a Bermuda Bay card base that is 11 inches by four and a quarter and we're going to score this the scoreboard out here we're going to score this at two and three quarters four and a quarter seven and a quarter and eight and a half. And this is what's going to be make our fan fold. So we're going to fold this kind of like or this it's not a fan. Well, we're going to fold it kind of like a double Z or a fan fold. Just like that. So let's get our folds nice and crisp here. There we go. Now, to assemble this, we need to stamp our snail, because we have this, the snail on the front here, and we're going to stamp the snail and then color it. So we're going to stamp in our Memento Black ink. I'm just using a scrap piece of basic white cardstock here. Just like that. And I'm going to let that dry for a second. And now I have a piece of white, basic white that is two and a quarter by four and I have a piece that is one and a quarter by four. So the piece that's two and a quarter goes on the bottom here, on the bottom piece, and we're going to put, I've cut these out already with my stamp and cut and emboss machine and these dies come in that bundle and we're going to put these on here. So I'm just going to put some, a little bit of adhesive on here, just like that, and we'll get our little toadstools on. So there, that piece is ready. Now this piece, we need to stamp You Snailed It in Bermuda Bay, excuse my reach. And we kind of want to stamp it over to the right side here, just like that. Okay, so those two are ready. Now let's um, do some coloring now that that's nice and dry. And these are the, the blends that I'm using today. And I'm going to use <clears throat> these three. This is light flirty flamingo and then light and dark pe petal pink on the snail's body. And so I always try to use my lightest color first to kind of oh condition the paper, you can say. And then I'm going to go over that part 
with my darkest color, and which is the fl flirty flamingo, and I want to have a little bit of a shadowed area or a dark area. Then I'm going to just speed up the, the film because you don't need to watch me to do this whole thing. Okay. So my snail is colored. Now I'm going to take and cut it out with the die cut and I'll be right back. Okay, there she is. I'm assuming it's a she because of the eyelashes, but it could be a he, I don't know. I've seen a lot of men with with very long eyelashes and I'm always jealous. Okay. So Here's some pieces and parts. We also need the envelope cut out, which is part of the, the bundle right here. And we need the decorated square, I don't know what you call it, cut out, which is part of that bundle. Okay, so now the easiest way to put things together is from the bottom up. The reason being is when you close it, you want all the all the stuff below it covered up. So we're going to put this piece on first. Okay. And then the next piece we're going to put on we need Two pieces of real red that are four inches by four inches, and then two different pieces of designer series pa series paper that are three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So I'm going to layer those together before I put them on. Okay, so this will be my next piece, and it's going to go right here, but I want to make sure that I cover up the entire under, the entire white piece underneath it, like that. And then you're going to try and make sure it's framed in pretty evenly around the top here. So, in order to do that, you don't want glue on this bottom area. So what you can do is you can do that so I know not to go below that line. And make sure it's all the way closed. The second layer is closed so that you can make sure you cover your white piece. There we go. Now this this layer we're going to put the snailed it down. You snailed it down. Now we want to make sure that that's covered by this piece. When it goes down so you want to make sure that it is above this corner here. So when you put it down, it needs to be, I don't know if you can see it. Here's the corner right there, above that corner. Now we can make our envelope here. And with this you can use either glue or glue dots or whatever you want to 
attach this. Just make sure it's not gluing down the inside of it because we're going to put a piece of paper on the inside of it. And we're going to just glue our, our um, envelope down on that open area here. Making sure, once again, it's above so that it can get covered up. So we want to have this framed in here, turn it over and use our pencil so we know where to put our, our adhesive. And the reason we don't put our adhesive on the card base is because it's really easy to put the adhesive too far out and you'd see it. You always put your adhesive on your smaller mat. Okay. So we have this so far, so our stretch card is coming together. Uh, what else do we have? We have our little, so I made a piece of, of real red that is two and an eighth by two inches, and that should fit right inside here. Okay, and then we're going to use our dimensionals on our little snail. Okay, and I want this at an angle, so I'm going to put my snail down just like that. And then this is going to go right here in the middle. And then I've got a little piece of, of white cardstock that is one and three eighths by one and five eighths, and you can just stick that in your little envelope. And there you have a stretch card, just like that. Isn't that adorable? I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you missed any of the measurements or if you want to see a written tutorial, head on over to terryscraftroom.com. I'll put a link right in, direct, direct to this blog post right in the description box below. And um, while you're over there, sign up for my newsletter. You'll get great projects coming to your inbox every week. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye, bye now. <laughs>